I know I've been hyping the band Plush for months and months and actually years at this point, but can they hold up on tour? That's the big question. If you've seen them, leave a comment in the comments letting us know what you think. And right now we'll hear what I think right here on this edition of Chris Aiken Presents. What's going on, everybody? It is Chris Aiken, and it is time once again for another edition of Chris Aiken Presents. And today I'm going to be talking about a concert that I went out and saw over the weekend, that, of course, being the band Plush. And uh, as most of you are aware, I am a huge fan, as well as being friendly with Mariah Formica, the singer. And um, this was my second time to get out there and see Plush and... Uh, this was more of a challenging time, I think. They're out on the road right now with Seven Dust, and um, if you haven't been following along, Plush is a uh, it's an all female band um, made up of girls all under 22 years of age. They're all really really young, and um, they've had a bunch of great tours so far. They've been out there on the road with Slash, with Hailstorm, with Evanescence, with Daughtry, with Wolfie Van Halen. And for the second time, they are out with Seven Dust. And most of you know Seven Dust, uh, you know, heavier band, not the heaviest band, but certainly heavy and certainly a heavy live band. So for the girls to make it out on this tour, they got to bring their A game. And I got to say, I am pleasantly surprised and happy to say they more than held their own with Seven Dust. It, it was a... Uh, it was a great show here in Cleveland. I saw them on um, May 1st at the Cleveland Agora. And they really brought the fire. I mean, it was definitely a heavy, heavy set from Plush. And uh, what's interesting to me is, you know, I, I know I'm jaded because I, I know of them and I know Mariah. So I, I just assume everybody knows them. And man, they came on to crickets. There was just cat call cheers when when they came out there was like five or six people doing the woohoo and that was about it i mean they just didn't get any buzz because nobody knows who they are and i guess that's kind of the big thing is that they're still establishing their ground right now but boy did they by the end of the set they had the crowd going and that's probably the biggest and best thing that you can say about a band in the live setting um you know they um they came out and they played a half hour, which I think they should have had more. There, there was a band before them and a band after, and they should have been the direct support to Seven Dust because they were by far the favorites of the night of the openers. And um, you know, they just brought the they brought it. They played their songs that people that have followed along know. They played Athena. They played um, Better Off Alone. They played Hate. They played Barracuda, the cover of the Heart tune. And they're just proven, at least on this night, they proved that they can stand with anybody, you know, with anybody in the, I'll call it the popular metal culture, anybody that's radio metal or radio rock, heavy radio rock, plus should be right there. If you're, if you're a fan of Hailstorm or especially Hailstorm, I guess that's the easy, cheap comparison. But if you're a fan of that, then you will love plush and live. They absolutely bring it. So don't take my word for it, though. I'm going to give you a little taste, just a little taste. This is a, this is one of their tunes. It was closer to the end of the set, but you can see how how good they sound, how clean and heavy, and how the crowd gets into it. This was um, called "Will Not Win." So let's check out a little bit of Plush from Cleveland on May the first.
right, and there you have it. That is Plush from Cleveland here on May the 1st. Great set by them. Definitely want to say thanks to Mariah for hanging out after after their set. She um she met up with me just because me and her text all the fucking time. So it was nice to actually meet in person. And it was very cool. So if Plush or Seven Dust is coming to your town and Plush is on the show, make sure you get out there and check them out. As well as um, I understand that there is a big announcement coming soon for another tour with Plush. And I know they're playing some festivals over the summer here in the States. I'm not sure if they're going overseas or what they're doing outside of that. But um, if they're near you, make sure you go see them because, quite frankly, the talent level of all four of the ladies in the band is incredible. And it's really not me just saying that because I'm friendly with somebody in the band. The talent level is off the charts. I mean, Mariah is the best singer in, in rock, period, right now. I don't care, male, female, whatever. She is the best. And Brooke, the drummer is one of the very, very best. You can look her up on YouTube and just see video after video with a few million hits of her playing drums. And Ashley that plays bass could sing, and Bella's a student at Berkeley, so she could certainly play guitar. So Jesus Christ, this is a crazy good band, and they played a crazy good set here in Cleveland, and they're killing it every night on the tour. So go out and check out Plush, all right? And while you're checking out things, make sure that you check out Chris Aiken Presents each and every day. And the best way to do that is by doing all the podcasty things. Make sure you hit the notification bell and you subscribe to the channel and you leave comments and you do all that good stuff, all right? Because without that stuff, I don't know you're watching. And I need to know you're watching, right? So for Chris Aiken Presents, I have been Chris Aiken. And guess what, folks? I will be again tomorrow. Peace.